Hello, it's Inka, Andrew, and Sean. Welcome to Strong Opinions, also known as Food Fight, Eight Debate. We're still working on it. But basically, this is the show where we present our very subjective opinions on our favorite foods and defend it to the death. Like I said in our last episode, often in the course of making our food content, we have disagreements about food. And we needed an arena where we could battle out these opinions. There are no right and wrong opinions. There are only strong ones and bad ones. Do you hear how Andrew's voice just went up? It really, that was really startling. <laughs> so last time we did sandwiches and the winner was... You, it was you. It was me. You <laughs> just wanted us to say it. Today we are going to be doing pasta. We're specifically focusing on quick pastas today. Andrew, what are the rules? You will have 10 minutes to make and present your pasta. This is something that you would make on the fly 10 minutes or less. Yes. It's not a lot of time. The non-presenters will watch and eat the food. We will then all vote on our ultimate favorite. But not ourselves. The winner will get a special prize and most importantly, the bragging rights. All right, let's get going. I believe Sean, since you won, you're up first. Three, two, one, go. Smooth right. penne? Wait, it's smooth? It's got no ridges. It's, that's like the worst. It has ridges. No, it doesn't. It has ridges, what are you talking about? This is my 2 a.m. pasta. What are the uh, primary ingredients of this pasta? Primary ingredients is just like all, olive oil, onion, and then whatever I have lying around. It's kind of a pantry pasta. 2 a.m. Pas pasta means- You can cook this in whatever state you are in, yes. How about Florida? Florida? You said whatever state you wanted to. Florida. I see what you did there. Oh, I missed that completely. So it's really just like whatever I have in the fridge at a given moment. Are you boiling the pasta already? I am boiling the pasta already. Do you not already. mix it while you cook it? It's gonna stick to the pot. And you have 10 minutes. Did you salt your water? I did salt the water. You're gonna get clumpy pasta. Like, I want you to do bad, but I'm also worried about you. <laughs> it's gonna be fun. That's why fun. I'm asking about the salt and stuff. Yeah. You salt the pasta, water. You're gonna use some of that later for starch. This is a lot more stressful than I thought it was gonna be. Two cloves of garlic. Normally I'll do like three. Is this for a single portion? Two portions. Two portions, because you're eating both of them? Because you're eating them. But I'm also gonna- Sausage? <laughs> Raw sausage? Oh. Okay, you're gonna take it out of the casing, yeah. That'll cook in 10 minutes. Yeah. Is that a hot sausage? It is a hot sausage. Do you usually have sausages lying around at home? I usually have whatever like kind of meat I have, like proteins I have lying around. Okay. Yeah. Sometimes I'll do like spam. Oh. Yeah, which is particularly okay. good. That's Essentially good. sausage. Yeah, it's like a cure dish meat. But yeah, so you kind of just like let it all get happy in here. Let it all cook down. Get happy in there? Get happy in there. It's a happy pasta. You have five minutes and 37 seconds left. All right, we're gonna make the most of it. What are you looking to do here? Are you trying to like cook it completely? I'm browning it down. I want there to be like just enough of like a pond so that when I deglaze it, It'll get all of those flavors. And then what I'm gonna do, you may recognize these tomatoes. So what makes this the best pasta in your opinion? It's a lot of flavor in a very quick time. And it also is kind of like stuff you just have lying around. Like I don't have to put in the cherry tomatoes. I can use a different protein. It's really like plug and play. The reason why for me this is the best quick pasta is that like you don't need to think too hard about it. You just kind of grab stuff and then uh -huh. go like that. What's so that this right is there? basil. I'm gonna add this later. Do you know what that cutting technique is called? I've forgotten, it starts with a B. It doesn't. It doesn't? All right, great. I believe it's called chiffonade. Chiffonade, yes. So I don't have white wine, so I'm just using sake because okay. I have that. Like usually yeah. you use sake or usually you use wow. white wine? I typically have sake just like by my stove. Yeah. So I'll like use it because I typically don't just have white wine lying mm. around. I didn't get the sausage as brown as I would have liked to, but it is pretty good. It's still okay. Sean, oh. you have three minutes. I have three minutes, okay. Is your pasta all stuck together? <laughs> I can feel it from here. It's all clumped up. I told you. Yeah. Some will be fine. Yeah. It's not perfect. That's good enough. That's not what we want to hear for the perfect pasta Ooh. in your eyes. A little bit of pasta water to bring in like some starch, and then it's erased against time to see if this cooks down enough. I'm gonna take some parm. Straight in, huh? Straight in. Mm. <laughs> this is the most chaotic. Grating. He's grating. <laughs> Seems representative of 2 a.m. Just, just kind of go at it. You have one minute and 30 seconds. <laughs> <laughs> okay, so we're just gonna throw this in. <laughs> we're gonna put a whole bunch of pepper with the lid on. My dude, you have 30 seconds left. Better go chop chop. Oh, that'll, yeah. That'll, that looks be good. Yeah. All right, you better plate it up. It's, you, you're on Play, time. I have to plate it yes. in time too? 
I'm using my wok spoon to plate it, because this is what I had. Go like that. You did it! I did it. Wow, I'm actually pretty impressed that you got that done in 10 minutes. There are no ridges on this pasta. Yeah, you this said is there a were smooth ridges. noodle. Is... I mean, it makes sense that this is what you would use at 2 a.m. because it would be the last pasta anyone would choose to use okay. at any other time. Okay, okay. So it would be what would be left over in the pantry. I do normally use a different type of pasta, and this time I bought the wrong one. Partially because of the time limit. Excuses. I think you cooked the pasta the correct amount of time. Mm. Perfect. I actually love the noodle. Wow. Really? Yeah. It's good. After all the crap you gave it? This is so classic, Andrew. Do you usually make it this dry? So I will normally add more like parm mm. and then like a little bit more pasta water as yeah. I go. If there's something you would do differently, what would you do? I would probably season it more. I like there to be visible pepper. And right now I will say it looks pretty bland. Very naked. It looks very naked, which is again, partially probably because of the, the pasta shape itself. Um, maybe not more. <laughs> I think something's wrong with Andrew you today. Okay, <laughs> I think Andrew likes the pasta. The sausage is doing a lot of work. I will say that is one thing about this pasta where for me a lot of it is reliant on like the protein. So the sausage saved the pasta. Yeah. Hey. Wow, Inka's well, getting she, defensive about her pasta. She's pasta getting, now. yeah, she wants Man. to keep it for herself. Man, you're really going for it. It's the first thing I've eaten today, so I'm, you know. <laughs> <laughs> I'll take that. Last note, could have used a little acidity. Did you not put the oh, lemon? Oh, did you forget to use your lemon? I forgot to use the lemon. Oh my God. All right, Andrew, your turn. I think I'm next. Okay, go Andrew. Three, Three two, two, one, one go. He's trying to stall. I'm gonna be making for you today, buttered noodles. Ooh, Ooh like just butter? And noodles. And noodles? No way, my pasta. Why not use a container? Couldn't find one. <laughs> 200 grams on the nose, perfect portion for two people. See that move? It's key. So I learned a lot last time we did this video. I decided to keep it really simple and really think about what makes the best quick pasta. Okay. If I'm being honest, all I really want to eat is the pasta. So that's why I'm making buttered noodles for you today. I have a very nice pasta. This is the Rusticella di Abruzzo spaghetti. It's delicious. And then I have some butter. I'm just being a little weird. Are you scarred from last time? Why do you mention that? Because off camera, you keep on telling us that you should not have done that sandwich. Yeah, but I wouldn't describe myself as scarred. It'll be hard for you to forget the cheese this time because it's right in front of you. <laughs> Most of my 10 minutes will be allowing that to boil. <laughs> I always put the lid back on so it can return to a boil. And now the spaghetti's going. I already salted this water. Okay. All right, I got some butter here. Salted butter, I saw. Yeah, it's salted butter. Okay. What brand? This is a Clover from Sonoma, California. Since I'm really just interested in eating a beautifully mouthfeel glazed noodle is I'm just gonna snack on the other stuff that would normally go in the pasta on the side. So here I have some salami, and this is what I would actually do if I was making pasta. I'm just gonna make the pasta, and then over here. <gasps> this is him saying, I don't need 10 minutes to make a to, pasta. I can what do, do whatever the hell I want. Got some salami out of the fridge, and I'm snacking on it. <laughs> so guys, here you go. No, I'm not gonna have. Story. I'll take one. Thank you. <laughs> this is what you would make if you got back from a trip and there was nothing else in your pantry or house. Not even lemons, you know? Nothing perishable at all. No herbs that are fresh. Cured meat can sit around basically forever. Dried noodles, same. The noodles been going for three minutes. I always like to make a mess of my countertop when I boil pasta. Are you not gonna eat this salami? No. Could you pass that back? <laughs> the lemon would be perfect in this but I think you can get away with using vinegar. I think Andrew's trying so hard to be calm, but he keeps on <laughs> so messing up. Do you guys find that the lid equilibrium on boiling your pasta is always like very annoying and challenging? Because if the lid is off, it's not boiling enough. If the lid is on, it's gonna boil over and make a mess. So the whole time I'm just like chasing this around like. You had two minutes and 51 seconds. Really? Done. Yeah. How's that possible? You've been wasting time. I'm gonna put some black pepper into my butter. This is just a show at this point. All of my spaghetti. Mm. Going in there. There's a bunch of this water stuff. Here's a little bit of that vinegar. Also keep in mind I've never used this stove. None Did of I us have ever yet? used this stove. None of stove. us have used okay. this stove. You could put cheese in here at this point. Well, you should because you have, you 40, have 40 seconds. seconds. 
This is how he ended up forgetting the cheese last time. Yeah, no, he was really he taking was his so time. He's so confident. You have 13 seconds. Five, four, three, two, one. And it's done. Take it off the heat. You got to take it off. You guys ready to eat? Yes. Yes. Stop. <laughs> <laughs> He's stalling. You sure you don't want some more salami? I just need a uh, something to put my hot dish on, if that's all right with you. <laughs> mm. oh, you oh, you're ready. Sorry. I want to punch somebody. <laughs> I just want to. This is why we can't give him 10 I know. minutes. This is why we have This to is cut why it. we did three minutes last time. It didn't play it as nicely as I wanted to. Again, never used the stove before. The pan sauce does this look good. This has nothing to do with plating. The pan sauce does look good. There you go. Butter noodles, guys. The best pasta you can make in under 10 minutes. Whoa, fighting well, we'll words. We'll see how this goes. Time to eat. I'm confused by the reaction so far. <laughs> this is a genuine question. Is this a meal or a snack? It's a component of not feeling hungry anymore. So it's food. Like this is another component of that. I mean, it could be a snack, it could be a small meal, or it could be like maybe I grilled a steak and it's like, what's the easy side that it's like pure pleasure? This is pure pasta pleasure. I tried to not let the time pressure get to me, but it's a doozy. I do like the vinegar though, because I was worried it would be so heavy, but it's so bare that I'm like, what can I ask about it? I think that means it's perfect, guys. <laughs> it's time to go home. I really have no questions. Oh my God. Let it be known, I made Inkley speechless. Not because of With how amazingly good it is. I'll tell you that much. I mean, because butter noodles, you're normally supposed to serve it right away. So I'm Return. assuming this is going to be the best right off the pan. Absolutely. I'll keep that in mind. <laughs> yeah, it does kind of taste a little bit like I'm drinking butter, but I do have like a nostalgic place. Nostalgia is what people use to describe things that tasted good in the past, but does not taste good right now. It's a strong opinion right there. Historically delicious. That's what all I heard. <laughs> Take another bite. <laughs> I don't want I, I've been to. watching you twirl the same strand around. <laughs> Last but not least is Inca. Thank you. <laughs> Let me know when you're ready to begin and I'll start the timer, which will time you for 10 minutes. Okay. At which point your pasta needs to be done. You mean like prior to plating, right? Cause that's what's been happening. <laughs> All right, ready? One, two, three, go. Great. So the pasta I'm making is pesto pasta, hence the basil, pine nuts, et cetera, et cetera. I really like pappardel. Is that pappardelle? Is, how do you pronounce pappardelle? Pappardelle. This is my favorite pasta. I really like thicker, wider noodles. I just call it Big Papa. I'm just trying to loosen this up because we do not want it to stick to the bottom of the pan like it did with Sean. Mm -hmm. So I am trying to stir it. I like to do everything in the food processor because it is fast, it is easy. I eat this a lot at home. I have a bunch of fresh basil here. Normally I like to blanch half of it because it gives you a brighter green color. But since today I do not have control over my time, I shall just use fresh basil, which is just fine, it's fine. In here, I'm also tossing in a bunch of garlic. I like to use a bunch of garlic because I like garlic pine nuts, which I have already toasted. And then also in here, I am adding in some lemon juice. Zest we'll add later. And then this is part where I add in just a bunch of Parmesan cheese. You know pesto, you're supposed to use like a mortar Yeah, mortar and pestle, yeah. yeah. I'm using a food processor. I have this really lovely Parmigiano Reggiano, which is very good. It has, you know, literally just, I just went to the grocery store and found the strongest smelling one because this is what's really going to carry through. Hey, you want to try a piece? I do, throw that over, just throw it. Oh God. Nice. Thanks for offering me some. To tell it to her. How's it? It's a nice parm. It's a nice parm, yes. You definitely got some nice cheese there. This is a little chaotic, I know. Normally, again, I would do this with a little more finesse, but today finesse is out the window. And then I'm going to just drizzle on olive oil, three, four, five, six. I don't know, I'm just eyeballing that. Sweat. Great. One time I didn't stir it and all the noodle noodles clumped together and it was very sad. So I learned. Did you still eat it? I still ate it because the sauce was really good. Green sauce is nice because pasta can be very heavy, like butter noodles. I like something that is a little more fresh, herbaceous. Yes, that's the word, yes. And I think this needs more olive oil, so I'm gonna put that in there. I'm gonna put some zest now. There you go, some zest. Citrus, just season it usually. Five minute warning. Oh, I have five minutes? Why am I doing this so fast? I don't know, you really are like rushing through this. I 
learned from watching you guys, I feel like both of you were like very chaotic. So I was like, oh my God, I need to make sure I don't run out of time. I just do this to how I wanna eat it and what kind of texture I'm looking for. I like it a little more like there's stuff going on in there. Mm -hmm. I feel like this is looking pretty good. So I'm gonna take this out. It's a little liquidy right now, but we're gonna use it. And I'm just gonna pour it out. I'm gonna add more cheese. So, and once the pasta's done, I can just toss it all in here. Now I'm just seasoning it. I'm sorry you didn't get to try a, a spoonful, Sean. It's okay, I'm used to it. Pepper in here as well. Normally I would also put a little bit of sugar. Really? I, Interesting. Because Do I it. like it a little sweet. I, I did not bring sugar. You have two minutes and 50 seconds. Great, that's my pasta. Gosh, I don't know if this is ready. We're just gonna try this. It's not ready! One minute, 21 seconds. Do you like it al dente? What kind of pasta texture do you like? I wanna eat it how you like it. I like to do it in a bowl because I just think it's faster, it's nice. Um, I like how it tastes. And you don't really wanna cook pesto over a stove top anyways. You don't wanna cook it too much. But I definitely put too much water in this. Ooh, it looks slippery, wow. This is really stressful. Why do we do this to ourselves? People just wanna see us being stressed out in the kitchen, I feel like, you know? Pepper. And this. There you go, there you go. That's it, that's my pasta. It's not the best version of my usual pasta. Here you go. Wow, did you intentionally give one of these plates to one of us and one to the other? No. Mine looks better than yours. I was gonna say mine looks better than yours. And I was like, she's trying to get Whoa. in my head. I'm trying to get in both of your heads. It's good. It's, it's good. good. It's very garlicky. It's very garlicky. I'm just gonna aimlessly twirl the same strand in one spot. <laughs> this is not a show about revenge, okay. Very good al dente. Okay. I, I like how much lemon there is. I feel like when I make pesto, I always neglect to put enough lemon. Mm. I like lemon because, well one, because I like putting zest in a bunch of things because I like that like citrusy flavor and it just lightens, like brightens the dish so much. Why would you add sugar to this? When I say sugar, it's probably just like a pinch of sugar. It's depending on what cheese I use, they can be very umami, very savory. And so that's why I like to add a little bit of sugar to balance it out. Does this taste the way that you would normally aim for it to taste? I think it's a little more savory than I generally like it to be. I think normally I like it with a little more citrus even, a little more lemon. Mm. I almost want it mm. to be like more acidic and less wet. I think I was very heavy handed on the pasta water. Why did you choose a shape? Like, you know, like spaghetti, you slurp it, but I feel like the surface area is not enough. Whereas pesto, I like to see it cling onto the noodles and yeah, this yeah. kind of does that. Cool, should we vote? So we've had our three pastas. And each person has one vote, but cannot vote for themselves. Wait, really? Yes, Andrew, you knew this. <laughs> it was kind of hard to choose. I actually like found things I liked in both of them, but I think this one for me just was a little bit more fresh. It had a little bit more like, it had a little more going on in terms of like textures you can go ahead and, hold and up flavors. Your card. <laughs> I chose Inca. Thank you. For me, it was hard for different reasons. I feel like I still feel the grease on my mouth from your pasta. You sure it's not the oil from your pasta? Oh my God. I will say I really liked the protein in the first pasta and therefore I vote sausage pasta from Sean. <laughs> Did and you I put my name on it? Sausage <laughs> pasta. I actually really like the flavors and I like the, the, the use of sake instead of wine. I feel awkward about sitting so close to you because of the way that <laughs> Last pasta made I knew my breath. He was gonna throw smell. shade. Oh my god! Um, I don't know if you knew this, but probably in my top three favorite food flavors is actually sausage. I think it punches way above its weight as an ingredient. It's a good one. And Inca, I wish you had added the sugar, honestly, to your pesto, mm. so that I could have found a reason not to like it. I picked Inca's Papa del Pesto. Ooh! Congratulations, Ooh! Inca! I thought you were gonna win because he was like. I love sausage flavor, <laughs> and therefore I'm gonna vote for pesto. I was like, what? Andrew loves the dramatics. Oh my God, Well, thank congratulations you. on being the second winner of Strong Opinions. Oh, thank you. A very chaotic episode. I don't feel like people understand the stress that is on your shoulders. Today's prize is gonna come out of this bag, and it is the most pricey pasta sauce I could find. Yay! 
Let us know which pasta you would have picked. Or let us know what other foods you want to see us battle over. Thank you everyone for joining us today. I hope you enjoyed our strong opinions. Until next time. All right, see you next time. Y'all just didn't want me to end. Until next time, I said, and then. Well, until next time. Oh my God. Thanks for watching. Until next time. Until next time. <laughs> Got a lot of comments on the last video about our time restriction, but if you don't want a time limit, that's what, tell us what you made us for. I learned a lot in this episode, and next time, I'll be ready. <laughs> <laughs> Andrew has yet to win. <laughs>